Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. We are going to be going over everything you need to know about GTA 6. A new map leaked file just came out. So we're going to be heading over and looking at that and giving you the full lowdown. But before we get into that, please subscribe for more daily content. We're releasing videos every day from now on and like the video. So let's get into it. So last year, Grand Theft Auto 6 leaked online, or at least a work in progress version of GTA 6 leaked online. Rockstar Games was quick to erase the leaks from the internet, but not quickly enough. Everyone in their mother's pet parakeet saw the GTA 6 leaks last year. Included in the leaks was confirmation that the game was returning to Vice City, the series' fictional take on Miami and the location rumors had been claiming was the game setting for years prior. Unfortunately, what was not included in the leaks was the actual map. However, fans have been able to get a good idea of how big said map via Rage Engine units. And if the estimation is correct, GTA 6 map is about to be absolutely massive. GTA 5 is a decade old but its map is still quite large even by today's standards. That said, it could end up looking tiny once GTA 6 is out. The GTA 6 Vice City mapping project is ongoing effort to piece together the GTA 6 map using the files of a aforementioned leak, which mentioned a wide range of things, including locations. If the estimation of the project is correct, then GTA 6 map is considerably bigger and makes use of the ocean more, which isn't surprising considering it's southern Florida. While this map looks huge, it may not even be the complete picture, as one of the comment points out. The file suggests the map stretches further north than what's depicted. As you may know, there are rumors that suggested different locations like Liberty City, New York City, the Midwest, the Caribbean, and South America, but this isn't represented in the files of the leak. There are countless cities, towns such as New York, Red Hill found in the files, most of these locations point towards the north of Port Gellhorn, making the map expand even further north. All that said, take everything here with a grain of salt. This is an estimation based on the files of a leak. There is no doubt the validity of the leak or its files. So this was found on Reddit, guys. So we're going to pull up the map right over here. And as you can see, it it is a big map, but there's not a lot of detail. These were in the game files here. So we have Hank's Waffle Diner, the top left next to Sugarloaf. So that was basically the big robbery that took place. And that was the biggest clip that we actually saw. So it was interesting to see that with the leaks. Maybe Rockstar did it on purpose, but essentially it was a 16-year-old leaker, which we found out later on. I wonder what happened to him. He probably got off with a slap on the wrist. We have Port Gilhorn trailer pool. A little bit below, we have a prison. So it'll be interesting. Maybe some of the actual game takes place. A little bit of the story will take place at the prison. The Waffle House, we'll have to just find out and actually see. There really isn't a lot of roads, as you can see. I mean, compared to actual GTA 5, there are it's a massive city. This is a lot more spread out. And we have little Haiti, which was from Vice City. So it's interesting that they're bringing that back. Going into, we do have a stadium, which is Mamba Stadium that is located in Rock Ridge. We have an industrial facility. We will have some missions to do there. We'll just have to find out and see. We do have a metro station that is right next to the airport and Lake Waterway. Down below, we do have Haystead and the Keys Causeway. So it looks like a small town, but it, it is mostly just water, guys. It's very interesting how this map is. It does look like it's not completed. So it is frustrating that Rockstar really has not given us any detail or even a release date of when it actually will be. This game is super massive and I think Rockstar will go above and beyond, but they've been really milking GTA 5 for so many years, 10 years plus, and they're just drip feeding little things to us. It's very, very annoying, but we actually just still play it. I mean, what other games do we have on the PS5? You know, comment down below what games you actually play. But going along with that, the map itself, there is not a lot of roads. so. Essentially, take this with a grain of salt. This is put together by Reddit. A lot of the Reddit comments are saying the map expands even further, so I'd like to see the map keep evolving. So depending on the day, 
that it'll change into a different city or a different place. Kind of like a, an evolving map, essentially like Fortnite. A lot of other different comments is there, there's someone that actually wants Wilderness in GTA 6. I was so hyped before 5 came out and seeing all the Wilderness in the trailers, which I saw it looks so realistic with someone pounding in the for sale sign and that actually didn't happen. You can't just buy a random house. I'd like to see more interaction with the city like you could buy basically any house, any skyscraper, make it your own business. A lot more customization, especially with cars and better cars, but we'll just have to wait and essentially see. Going out with that comment, then the final game, it was there. It was just full of roads. There was no real secluded area where you can go in the middle of nowhere, like in Red Dead 2, where there are a ton of places where you can walk in the forest and look around. There's not a lot of roads or trails anywhere like a real forest. So it is a different take that someone just wants the wilderness to go out and do what they want to do. So essentially that map is not the full flat out map. It was just a leak, a rumor found on Reddit. So it'll be very, very interesting to see what Rockstar actually brings to the table and when we're actually going to get any foresight into the actual game itself because Rockstar has only given us the leaks and that was from a 16, 17 year old kid that got the file somehow. So that is all we have for the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe, like, and comment. I'm Croak and I'm out. It's